Okay guys, so we've got some more news on Wander Franco and it doesn't look good, like at all. Sorry it took me a little bit, I just like to check my facts before I just spit them out to the world, okay? But as of right now, the Tampa Bay Rays have placed Wander Franco on the restricted list. We don't know whether he's being paid or not, that doesn't really matter, but the Rays are just doing this to get an extra roster spot, yada yada. Okay, let's get into the real stuff. So first of all, let's get this out of the way. The 14-year-old girl that he allegedly was dating and hanging around with, she made a social media post just saying that Wander Franco does this with girls like her all the time and that she's tired of it and she wants to expose him. Now, whether that has to do with money, I don't know. It doesn't matter, especially if she's 14 years old. But she may not be lying because the attorney general from the Dominican Republic said that there was another girl that filed a complaint against Wander Franco for having the same interactions with him. We don't know who this girl is yet, or at least I couldn't find her, but of course, I'm sure at some point we'll find out. All I know is she's 17 years old and the attorney general of the Dominican Republic has has a complaint that is filed through her. So the social media frenzy could be fake, but this is for real. So now it really makes you wonder, like, who is Wander Franco? But Wander Franco himself also has a lawsuit against another 17-year-old girl. So he's going after this girl. So now you've got two 17-year-olds and a possible 14-year-old. What's going on in the Dominican Republic with Wander Franco? And you might think that this might all be fluff, that it's all fake, that people are just trying to get money from him. But the night before all of this stuff with the 14-year-old girl went viral, Wander Franco went on Instagram Live and talked about it. And I'll show you a tweet above explaining exactly what Wander Franco said. So this is what he says. They say I'm running around in public with a little girl, that I'm running around with a minor. People don't know what to do with their time. They don't know what they're talking about. And that's why I prefer to be on my side and not deal with anybody. And I get it. Social media can blow things up, blow things out of proportion. But for you to come out and say that, and then a couple days later, we find out that you were with a 17-year-old for sure because the attorney general of your home country knows about it. It, and you've also got a lawsuit filed against a 17 year old girl in your name. What are we supposed to think as fans? And not only that, but Jose Siri, the center fielder for the Tampa Bay Rays, was jumping up and down in the background while Wander Franco was speaking live on Instagram, saying people chasing that money, people chasing that money, people chasing that money. Like acting like this isn't a serious situation. Like, bro, that is your teammate. If he's doing this stuff, why are you back there defending him? I know you guys make a lot of money. Like, we all get it. You make a lot of money. But it's not okay to just act like someone's chasing his money if he's down there hanging out with girls that are 14 and 17 years old. I'm sorry. And I mean, come on. Imagine how the Tampa Bay Rays feel right now. They've got to be shaking in their seats as an organization and as a team. Because we all know the Tampa Bay Rays do not spend money. They refuse to spend money. They let David Price go. They let Blake Snell go. They let Evan Longoria go. They've let everyone go. And then the phenom comes up, Wander Franco. Everybody's excited. And they give him an 11-year, $182 million contract with a $5 million signing bonus. And this was just two years ago. He still has pretty much an entire contract to get paid through. So if he goes to prison for this, not only does he ruin his life and the lives of the girls that he intertwined with, but he's also ruining a franchise that is electric right now. So I'm sorry, across the board, if this is true, it's just purely selfish. But let me know what you guys think down below. And do you think there's a lot of truth to this or do you think it's a lot of fluff? Either way, guys, I'm just trying to keep you updated the best that I can. Peace. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.